All right, babies. You're all so beautiful. You know that you are accepted in the beloved, don't you? A place where there's no dogma, or theology, or distinction, or evaluation, Lord, of uh, who's in and who's out. It's just one ongoing rhythmic flow of divine love between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's where I want to meet you. Along the way, the work site of the gym. The way of life winds upward for the wise to turn away from destruction or the grave beneath. I've been through a few circuits. I've had a few trips around the sun. And this excellent adventure, this wild ride doesn't know any end. It just keeps getting higher and higher. So I want to welcome you higher and higher. I want to welcome you to your contradictions. Because there are so many things in this ebb and flow of divine love between Father, Son, and Holy Ghost where all of our preconceived ideas of God our God concepts are washed away what we think doesn't amount to a hill of beans and we just pray we utter things that are mysteries there are things that are mysteries you don't have an understanding you can't hold on to what you know about God all you can do is behold who he is line your thinking up. Line your thinking up after the fact. <laughs> line your thinking up after the fact. Tremble before the Lord. Tremble before the Lord. I don't have an exegesis for you. I'm sorry if that's what you're looking for. I've got an offense for your mental capacity, though. Because what I want to talk about, what I want to behold, what I want to share, what I want to bear witness to, isn't something that you're going to fit neat and tidily into your little theology. It will inject you out of your theology. So welcome to your contradictions. Because when your concepts of who God is have been offended and he blurs all the lines of what you thought was correct dogma and sound doctrine all that's left is who he is all that's left is mystery <laughs> and we hold this mystery it says we hold the mystery of faith so your secret yearnings and your desires, the places where you've stumbled, the places where you felt so certain and secure. Just evaporate. Let it evaporate. Because it's a mystery. That he holds you. He holds you. You hold the mystery of faith, but he holds you. So welcome to your contradictions, babies. My behavior doesn't line up to my creed sometimes. Does your behavior line up to your creed all the time? That's why it's a mystery of faith. That's why you don't trust in your feelings. That's why you don't evaluate your behavior. Because when you lay hold upon these things and try to be certain and lay hold upon your concepts and create your exegesis and become all apologetical about what you believe so many times, you can draw lines of who's in and who's out, and you end up darkening the counsel of the Most High. You end up in the role of the adversary. You end up in the role of the accuser who wants to evaluate everything, and you come under a law. That's why grace is an offense. Let grace offend you, because this ebb and flow of divine love between Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that you've been included in, you're accepted in the Beloved, is none other than than an ocean of grace, an immersion of grace, a baptism of grace. 
and it's pretty hyper. This ebb and flow becomes quite a grand rapids sometimes. But the kingdom of God suffers violence and a violent taken by force. So be taken, be overtaken in the mystery of faith. Be overtaken of this acceptance that has come upon you outside your exegesis, outside your evaluation of yourself, outside your contradictions. And embrace your contradictions, babies, because 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 9 says that we hold the mystery of faith in a clean conscience. Not because of what you learn, not because of what you believe, but what, because of what he believes about you. This is my witness. I haven't blown my witness. I know there's a lot of fundamentalists and Pentecostals out there who think that I'm utterly backslidden. My, my witness hasn't changed. I behold him. I haven't stopped beholding him. I haven't stopped hearing him. My contradictions that were maybe secret or well hid from the fundamentalists are something that I don't really have many qualms about talking about openly anymore these days, but they were just as much as my life back then when I was hiding them in Pentecost as they are now. And the ebb and flow of divine love is something that is not abated. My creed has evaporated. My certainty has evaporated. My exegesis has evaporated. But my witness remains. Because my witness is this. That God loves me and I don't know why. He likes me. He wants to hang out with me. I wake up and he's there. In the midst of my contradiction, in the midst of my worst failures, he's there. Delighting in me. Turning my face. Beholding me as I really am. What a mystery! What a mystery! This is a contradiction. Embrace the mystery of your contradictions. Embrace the mystery of faith. Because this faith, not your behavior. This faith, not your works. This faith, not your creed. This faith, not your exegesis. Is the thing that is really your witness. This is what you behold and upon. You can't undo the truth. If you beheld something, if you know something, there isn't any undoing it. It's in you. It's branded on you. It's tattooed in your psyche. It's built into your DNA. Your constructs vibrate with the resonance of heaven after you've seen this. That's why Jesus said, unless a man is born again, unless a man is born from above, and unless a man comes to the realization that his life, his DNA, his origins, his construct are from heaven, he can't see. But when you see, you become filled with light and your eye is good and your body becomes filled with light. So be filled with light, babies. It's a mystery. He likes you. He wants to hang out with you. He's intertwined in all of your even worst failures and the things about yourselves that you can't face. He's intertwined himself with you and joined himself with you in all this stuff. So don't strive in this anymore. Don't wallow in the mire. The while on despondency and melancholy. He likes you. He likes you. He really likes you. Just embrace the mystery of faith and delight that he's there and he's beholden upon you. Glory. There's a sunlight right here. I'm going to blow him away. See you later.